My Uncle Peter was always thought of as different. No one knew why. Finally, at the age of 60, he was diagnosed. There was finally a name for this disorder, Asperger's Syndrome. I would diagnose Peter with Asperger's Syndrome. More and more children are being diagnosed with PDD, Pervasive Developmental Disorder. Autism originated from Leo Kanner, which in about 1944 gave it the name Kanner's Autism. Prior to that, this disability, this group of children or adults that had autism were, were, was called childhood schizophrenia. And then Kanner labeled it autism. Dr. Asperger saw a different group of children and what he noticed with them is where they had similar traits to autism and that they had some ritualistic behaviors, they had uh, some stereo stereotypies that were similar to autism, but they had language. Whereas children with autism uh, all have a, a severe communication deficit. A majority of them are nonverbal. And these kids had language, had words, and in fact had um, typically an extremely high IQ and above average intelligence and often were thought of as being geniuses. Peter was a brilliant student, absolutely brilliant. When he got into high school, he never got a, a paper, not one paper less than 96, 97. It's like a savant. He, he's good with numbers, he's good with names, his memory is better than anyone I, I, I know. Like you, you'll ask him, he'll say, how long have you been here, Peter John, now? Oh, I've been here for four hours, 20 minutes, and 22 seconds, and he goes right down to the second. I think that's like a little eccentric. It's kind of strange. I, I'm, not used, I'm not used to talking to people that know the exact time right down to the second that they've been there. He's aware. He's aware of what's going on around him, his environment, people in his life. He seems, he seems very intelligent, just lost. In terms of Asperger's syndrome, one, uh, having difficulty and deficits in social in relationships, and uh, one of them being the lack of reciprocal social interaction, interactions being very superficial and rote. So he has all of those. It was wonderful to me. We used to call her together. He was always there when I came home from school. But the downside was he would follow me everywhere when I would go to play at my friend's house and their mother sometimes didn't appreciate him being in the backyard and sometimes my friends would say he's strange, he's talking to himself and I'd feel bad. In language, and that is peculiarities in language, such as a kind of unusual tone, also kind of repetitive. And I want to take a shirt, put the shirt you gave. I want to wear the shirt you gave, the nice shirt you gave me. This is my own, this isn't your shirt. I gave you a shirt? Yeah, you gave me some nice shirts. I want to wear the shirt you gave me. I love the shirt oh, you yeah. gave me. I put this in my own shirt. I yeah. should put your shirt on. No wonder you don't want to go. Sure, so if I put your shirt on, you may, actually might go to Roseanne's. You might consider, yeah. you might go. The third area, well, there is a kind of a restricted range of interests and peculiar compulsions for order. Uh, in that respect, you have his kind of routine. you got that and the way that he kind of has his uh, habitual day, that there are certain rituals that he has, that he follows a certain pattern, a certain routine that is repetitive. He doesn't appear to have any mental retardation or you know, delays in cognitive functioning. And his speech is also adequate in terms of vocabulary uh, and speech development. He had kept all the cards that people had ever sent him and he had them stacked up in neat columns that were like the same, all of them were the same and the same size. So he really, it really took a lot of effort and orderliness and compulsion to line them up the same way. The same way his shoes were lined up in the middle of the room and uh, they were, you know, exactly lined up without even a, you know, a tenth of an inch deviation. I feel very ashamed because of the way he smells, like, I mean, the way people react to him, they don't know how to take him. You know, it's, just, it's a struggle all the time. I mean, you can't even imagine. You know, every time someone's over my house, how I panic, how they're going to react to Uncle Peter. Are they going to think I'm weird? They're going to look at me funny. It's kind of, I mean, it sounds stupid, but it's something that I do deal with, and a lot of people can't understand that because they're like, it's not their family members. If I could only know what was going on in Peter's mind. Um, the word within is very important to Peter. He's very fond of that word. He knows how many times it's written in the Bible. 
He knows how many times it's written in the Old Testament versus the New Testament. He knows um, how many times it's written in the King James Bible versus other Bibles that he reads. I know it sounds strange to some people, but he even memorizes the phrases. He's very religious in a strange sort of way. He likes to do a skit with me about the word within. I don't think so. Do you think it does? They which enter here. They which enter here. I kind of thought, why is Peter so obsessed with the word within? So what, what got you interested in the word within? Well, I just thought that would be a good idea. Joe didn't like it. I thought it would be good, you know, because I want you to love good things to be within my reach. Oh, you want good things to be within your reach? Yeah. And if you really think about it, everything does come from within. It's washing and washing. Wash. Go wash in the pool. Go wash in the pool. Go wash in the shower. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Peter. I don't, I don't wash in How could that mean within? Mm -hmm. I think that's why he likes the word so much, because everything comes from within. Although autism is known by the general public, Asperger's syndrome is relatively unknown. It affects the entire family. Support us in creating awareness and service to help those afflicted and their family members. Your contribution is appreciated.